back to my channel. My name is Angela. If this is your first time tuning in. Today I'm doing a mask and tag. Obviously you already know that because you saw the title of my channel or the title of my video. This is the mask that I'm using today. It is by Northport Naturals and it is a detoxifying clay mask. And I am doing the throwback tag because I thought that that would be fun to do. So this is one of those clay masks that you need to mix up. I cannot locate my masking brush. Ah, <sighs> you know, kids, they just... They get things and get into things and destroy things and <laughs> climb on things. So, you know, I'll just go ahead and mix it with my fingers, which isn't a bad thing. What do you guys use to mix your masks or apply your masks? Do you have a tool or a favorite brush that you use? I've seen some brushes are actually like bristle brushes. Um, if you have a favorite, link it below. Because I just use the e.l.f. one. And I like it because it's kind of like a spatula. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And we'll go from there. I am going to just use one of my palettes. <laughs> Ooh, it's always cold at first. Okay, so now that I have that mask applied, I am going to put some lip gloss on because I don't want you guys staring at my horrible, horrible lips. Ugh. I did wear a pink lipstick today and it just dried and settled into every crack and crevice of my lips. And even after using my jojoba oil to remove it is still hanging on for dear life. Let me pull up the questions. The throwback tag. What year were you born in? I was born in 1985. But how cool would it have been to be like a teenager during the 80s? I think I would have loved it because my hair is like really big. I would have fit in perfectly. Number two. Do you have any pictures pictures of yourself from when you were younger if you do show them oh this is gonna be fantastic I'm actually probably gonna have to hop onto my photo bucket to share a few of them with you but I'm sure you'll love them because you're all here to watch me talk aren't you <laughs> the next question is what TV shows did you grow up watching so I used to love the Power Rangers. I knew that it was on as soon as I got home from school. I'm trying to think of some other, like I remember when I was really young, you know, I think every child when they're really young watches like Sesame Street and Barney and all of that. What did you want to be when you grew up and do you still want to be that? Well, I'm 31 now. <laughs> I hope that I am in my career that I'd like to be doing. Let's see, when I was really young, I wanted to be a teacher, but I think that most kids go for those pretty general, like, careers, like firefighter, cop, teacher, you know. N don't want to be a teacher anymore. I am a veterinary assistant by trade. I went to school to work in animal hospitals, and it is what I love to do. However, right now, I work in a call center, I call you during dinner to take political polls, so answer your phone and help me out. <laughs> the next question is, show a video of yourself when you were younger. I honestly don't even think I have a single video of myself from when I was younger. And I, that's, it's really sad. There really isn't much else that I can say about that. <laughs> what? were your favorite toys to play with. Okay, do you remember those like little things? They were like plastic and it was like a little dome and you pushed it and it would pop up and it would like spring. I loved those things. I also played with pogs a lot. I'm not sure if anyone is gonna know what a pog is, but they were like these little paper discs and you threw slammers at them and if they flipped over, you got to keep them and I had a little collection. 
my husband knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, good for you. <laughs> the next question is, what's the most embarrassing thing that you can remember doing? Oh, gosh. I've never been in a fight or anything like that, but there was this time I was like 10. I got really mad at this boy that I liked, I had a crush on. And you know, when you're that age, the boys are like so much smaller than you. I like went to like, I don't remember if I was going to slap him or punch him, but I ended up like punching him in the temple. And that is like the last thing that I wanted to do. I was so embarrassed. I ran home and I cried and the, he never liked me after that. <laughs> that is probably the most embarrassing thing ever. Why? I don't know why. Why did I go to hit him? Oh, do you guys like my... My phone case. I got it from Victoria's Secret. It was like part of their Christmas clearance. It was $4.25. I bought it for my daughter mostly so she could like be amused by it. The next question is, read something you wrote when you were in kinder kindergarten. I, I didn't have anything that I can think of from back then. See, my mother didn't save those things. And that's why I also don't have any videos from my childhood. So I wish I could share it with you, but I can't. I know that I wrote some poems like in elementary school, like later, like I want to say like sixth grade, I wrote a poem about my hamster named Bertha. And I think it was titled Big Bertha Butt because she had a big butt. I don't know. I was 11 or 12. The next question is the three songs you love to listen to as a child. As a child, I loved the Backstreet Boys, so I loved the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and Britney Spears, but who didn't, you know, back then? So you can choose a song from one of those CDs that came out around then, who knows? I loved them all. I remember there was this time we went on a road trip to SeaWorld and I was just like, I had a little CD, whatever, compact disc player, and I had the the new Backstreet Boys CD, and I just listened to that thing on repeat the whole way there from Phoenix. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I was obsessed. Tell a funny story of something you remember happening when you were young. Oh my gosh, a funny story. I really can't think of a funny story, but I actually thought of another embarrassing story, so I'm gonna go with that one so that I don't waste my filming time. Because <laughs> I'm like sitting here thinking, oh, funny story, funny story, come on, think, think, think. Anyways, there was this one time a boy put gum on the top of my head and my mom had to cut my hair like all the way to cut it off. I don't know why she didn't think to use peanut butter or whatever the little remedies are. But my stepdad was so mad. He, like we lived in the same apartment complex of this kid. So he marched over to their apartment and like yelled at their parents and I was so embarrassed like I had now had a bald spot on the top of my head and I was embarrassed because I was best friends with that boy's sister Ugh. needless to say I wasn't allowed to hang out with her anymore because her parents wouldn't let me <laughs> The next question is, are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child? Everything that I found, like at my grandmother's house, because I was raised by my grandmother, my grandma Shirley, my mom's mom, everything that I found of mine from my childhood, I did hold on to, and I think it's in a little shoebox somewhere or just packed away in a small memory box that I hold on to and hopefully one day I can share that with my daughter. Now that I have a child of my own, I am taking pictures all the time, I'm taking videos all the time and sharing them with my family because I want for that to be something that she can look forward to when she gets older. The next question is, what was something weird you used to do as a child? Um, 
something weird that I used to do as a child? Kids are so weird. They do a number of things. Oh, I wanted my mom to stop smoking. So like I would steal a few cigarettes out of like every pack of cigarettes and like empty out the tobacco into the toilet and flush it all down the toilet. But I didn't do like a lot that would be noticeable, but I didn't know that she would just go buy, you know, go buy more cigarettes. I thought I was doing something good by trying to get her to quit. The next question is, what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? This actually pops right into my head. So me and my cousins were playing on like those big like silver boxes, like electrical boxes or whatever. And I like climbed up onto one of them and fell like down backwards but my shirt got caught so I was like dangling and that was pretty scary another moment that I'll share with you is there was this one time we hopped the fence me and my cousins hopped the fence to go into this like horse property yeah we got chased out of that horse property by those horses and one actually got hold of me when i was trying to climb back over the fence didn't hurt me or anything but that was super scary and the last question is how is the world now different from how it was like when you were a child so technology has just taken over the world i would say that that's the biggest thing i remember when cell phones were like corded and you know you had a, they were only in the car and now you know i have an iphone 6 my husband has an iphone 7 plus like and the 8's coming out and you know it's just crazy i'm talking to a camera and i have a face mask on <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, I'm gonna go wash it off and I'll be right back with you guys. Hi guys, welcome back. So I rinsed off the mask. I actually had to go in with a washcloth and like get the mask off. As you can see, this side of my face is like really red and I can't figure out why but it feels really warm. I know that it'll settle down. I just, it really bothers me that whenever I wash my face, that my face always gets really red. Like, does that happen to any of you guys? Especially if you've had bad skin. Like, after you wash your face, is it like always red? Well, thank you guys again for spending a few minutes of your day with me while I did a quick mask and tag. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe down below so that you are notified about future videos and have a great day. Mm -hmm.